eight most common freestyle libre errors and how to fix them. This video is sponsored by US Met. Let's go. Error number one, scan timeout. This usually happens when you try to scan your Freestyle Libre sensor and you don't hold your receiving device close enough to the sensor. Freestyle Libre uses NFC technology to transfer the data. It's the same technology as we use with contactless payments. So you should always know where exactly the NFC antenna is placed on your device. If you're using a mobile phone, then the NFC antenna placement very much depends on the model. In the iPhone, for example, the antenna is placed right on the top of the phone, right here. In the Freestyle Libre readers, the antenna is placed right under the screen of the reader. Hold the antenna within four centimeters or one and a half inch of the sensor, and you should get the reading every time. And by the way, you can scan through close as well. You don't need to take off your jacket. Error number two, check sensor. This one is a bit more annoying because it usually means that the sensor filament is not properly placed under your skin. The filament is this little piece that goes under your skin and it takes the actual readings from the interstitial fluid. Now if you get the check sensor error after a few days of using a sensor, it probably means that you rip the filament out and unfortunately this can't be fixed. You cannot put it back in. You just need to apply and activate a new sensor. If you get the check sensor error during the initial setup, you can try to scan again. But if your reading device gives you this check sensor error again and again, the sensor probably was not applied properly. You will need to apply and activate a new one. That's a bummer when that happens, but you might be able to get a free replacement. So keep watching because I will tell you how to do that in a minute. Error number three, scan error. This usually happens when the reading device is not able to communicate with the sensor. You can try to scan again in a minute and that should solve the problem. The official guidance also says that this might be caused by sources of electromagnetic interference like a TV or a radio. So move away from those and try again. Error number four, sensor already in use. This usually happens when you try to scan the sensor with a device that the sensor was not activated with. Any sensor can only be used with one device and that's the device that you activated it with. If you still have that device, use it and you will get the reading. Error number five, and probably the most common and the most annoying one. And this is the sensor error, AKA try scanning again in 10 minutes. This usually happens when your blood sugars have been moving erratically. The information from the sensor, the data from the sensor is just all over the place. The system just can't handle this extreme condition and saying, hmm, this data from the sensor can be right. In these situations, it's really best to wait at least 10 minutes and then try to scan again. Now we still have three more tips to get to, but before we do that, please hit the like button if you're getting value out of this video. And let me tell you a few words about our sponsor. US Met is number one Freestyle Libre distributor in the US. Most of my American friends who use Freestyle Libre or Dexcom are customers of US Met. And I know that about half of you watching my videos are from the US. So I'm very happy that US Met decided to support my channel and make this video possible. By the way, if you sign up with US Med, they reach out to your doctor for a prescription, they work with your insurance company, and they deliver your sensor supplies directly to your door. Check them out. Moving on to error number six, replace sensor. Now this one is very annoying because this almost always means that your sensor is dead and you need to apply a new one. But if this happens before the 14 day wear time of the sensor is over, then you are entitled to a free replacement because you couldn't use the sensor for the whole lifetime, which is supposed to be two weeks. Before you claim a free replacement, make sure you have the sensor serial number handy. You can find it on the side of each sensor or at the bottom of the package. It's also good to keep as much evidence as you can of what exactly happened, photos, videos, and so on. If you have all this, you should have no problem in getting a free replacement from your local distributor or directly from Abbott. Error number seven, new sensor found. You get this message when you scan a new sensor before your old sensor expired. So the old sensor is still active, you're using your reader with the old sensor, you apply a new sensor and you scan the new sensor. If the old sensor is still running, the uh, reader will tell you new sensor was found. Now in most cases this should not be a problem, just keep in mind that your device can only be used with one sensor at a time. If you start a new sensor you will no longer be used the old sensor. So if you want to do that, if you really want to begin to use the new sensor, then click yes. Error number seven, 
sensor ended. This one is not a big deal because it simply means that your 14 day lifetime has ended. Just peel off the old sensor, apply a new one and activate it. By the way, I have another video where I show you how to do that and I will link it here for you. Guys, if you want to get the most out of your Freestyle Libre sensors and manage your diabetes better using the Freestyle Libre sensors, then you should not ignore this video where I share my top 30 tips I learned while using Freestyle Libre sensors four years ago. I applied my first one and since then I've been making content about it. So go check out that video, watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao.